is I want you to sort of show me that action you'd use. If you were throwing a bucket of water, but you had to throw it sort of over a fence or, or a mountain sort of six foot high, right? Yeah. So show me that action that you'd make. In my golf posture. Yeah, 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 from your golfing posture. You were throwing a bucket of water now over a fence that's about six foot high, what would you do? There you go. Now when you do that again, don't overthink it, just do yeah. it. Bucket of water, chuck it over the fence. Excellent. Now this time what I want you to do is I want you to turn to face almost like as though you're hitting the shot towards the camera this time. Right? So rotate around. Okay. Exactly. Same thing again. So imagine now, you know, your fence is obviously you've rotated around, there's another fence and you're gonna throw that bucket of water over the top of it. Excellent. Okay, one more time. <laughs> it's in your nature. Yeah. All right, so when you look at that action, you're doing three things, right? You get your arms, your torso is doing three things. You're putting some slide in there, you're putting some rotation in there, and you're putting some extension in there. So you're moving it in three ways. This way, so you can that water. Yeah? And depending where you are in the swing, or depending where you are in the, in the act of throwing that bucket of water, will depend on what bit is having an effect on what area so that the slide doesn't always have an effect on you moving this way if you will yeah so everyone thinks hip slide means the hips are always going this way but when you turn through 90 degrees the hip slide is directed and is, 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 is moving in a completely different direction isn't it okay you'll see that when you watch that video